Happy New Year, everybody. It's 2018 already. I wanted to make some videos before, but I, I got really busy. You know, it's the holiday season. So thank you, everybody, for everything you've guys done. Um, everybody who's been in my life this year, I really appreciate it. I wanted to talk about, um, you know, everybody's doing resolutions. Everybody's doing goals and whatnot. And although I really like them, I think, you know, thinking that a new year is going to change everything. I mean, it's not. What has to change is us, our attitude, you know. So in that note, I am going to talk about the things that have changed for me in 2017 and that are going to continue to change in 2018 because changes are happening inside of me. Um might be a long video, longish. Um, feel free to watch the whole thing, please do. If you like my content, please subscribe and leave me questions, comments, anything you guys want. I really appreciate it. Um, so without further ado, um, what happened in 2017 is that I really wanted to plant new seeds. That's That, that was my theme for the year, right? Um, I, I left 2016 talking about planting new seeds and I started doing it and by that I mean instead of having the same attitude and expecting things to change um, or doing the same things or, or, or taking the same making the same decisions or you know making always a right instead of a left you know um, I decided to change I decided to you know what I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone and uh, do something with it and I, I, I truly did. I got out of my comfort zone in so many several ways. I started talking to strangers and, 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 and traveled and uh, met new people. I have friends in Europe and friends in Miami and friends everywhere now. And uh, I love that. And I have my close friends that I got closer with. And uh, my family, I got closer to my family. And that was a really rewarding thing. It has been because you know what I know this is not true for everybody out there but family is a strong strong support uh, and and it's 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 really the people that you can always fall back to and um, finding that out in the most truest way um, really has changed a, a lot of how my days have been going um, but uh, the main thing, really, one of the main things that um, happened in 2017 was that instead of me always like, and I really didn't notice this, that I, I was a, a person that would always like, you know, bring in stuff into my house, clutter up stuff, and like 75% of them were not even getting looked at, were not, you know... When I moved into this apartment that you guys are looking at about a year and a half ago, almost, um, I cluttered up so much stuff. Like, instead of going through it, I just threw everything in boxes and I kept it in this apartment. And for the longest time, until my sister moved in, um, I didn't go through everything. I just kind of left them there, meaning that I really didn't need everything that was in those boxes. And uh, I just kept it. And uh, initially, in the beginning of the year, going through those boxes and really separating things um, really did a number on me. You know, I threw, not, not that I threw out, I donated a lot of stuff and uh, it still didn't click. You know, that even though I had gone through those boxes, there were several other things that were just literally sitting in my closet doing absolutely nothing but clutter up. And that was true for my side tables my bedside tables that was true for the TV that I have in my room that I haven't turned on in months and that was true for my painting supplies um, I do love painting but you know what I don't need three bottles of the same color you know I don't and truly understanding and going through my things little by little and realizing you know what I have this beautiful mug but I have this one that I like best I don't need both like it was just so mind opening it was uh it really opened up a gigantic thing in my life because i decided that not 
by not cluttering up just like physical items but everything um everything else as well you know like people like sometimes we keep people around just because they've been there for too long you know and they're really not contributing i'm not saying that you have to be rude to people or anything like that but i mean you know somebody it's constantly in your life you know just draining away your energy not contributing and and you're not being able to do the same thing for that person you know you're not being able to contribute in anything or or, or give like you know support or anything like that what is that person doing in your life you know 2017 has taught me a lot about that and i truly hope that 2018 do, does the same and not just for me for all of you my friends you know um i hope that i can be uh, um you know just a support for anyone who needs me and that i can also count on the people that you know i'm supporting because we all need people we all need friends we all need family we all need fellowship really um so realizing that um that i i was cluttering things and and emotions and and people in my life was a really big mind opening thing <laughs> so i heard a sentence the other day that was like um you know the best things in life are not things and that is so absolutely true you know i i you know the best thing in lives are not how many shirts you have in your closet or how many shoes and how many options and how many how many boyfriends you could have or how many lovers or how many friends you know the 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 real things that are worth in life are so much bigger than that you know it's it's really the beautiful weather outside it's really the beautiful nature all around us it's really connection true connection it's not about quantity it's about quality and i really hope 2018 is filled with quality you know quality of life because many people are you know i'm not for it and I'm okay with it. But you know what? I really appreciate those people who are able to get rid of everything and just like truly connect with the things that they do have and the, the actions that they do take and the people that are really around them, you know, instead of just counting on how many likes they get or counting on everything. And by saying all of this, I'm in no way saying that I've, you know, transcended that line or that I'm beyond anything and that I'm better than anybody because I'm truly not, truly, truly not. Um, I'm on a journey and we're all on a journey. And uh, when, when, you, when you really see that journey clearly and where you truly want to be one day, you're able to trace some steps to take. And, uh, and I feel like resolution should be that. You know, you see a final goal. It may not be this year, you know. It may be, you know, in two years I want to do this, this, and that. Start today, you know. Start tracing your steps today. Because it's so easy to say something nice and cute and beautiful in the beginning of the year and just completely, you know, forget about it in, in a month or two, you know. And that goes for every single area of your, of your life, every aspect. You know, if you feel like you want to lose 50 pounds, you know, start today, you know, don't, don't wait. If you feel like you want to buy a house, start today. You know, if you feel like you want to travel around, start today, you know, really write down where you want to go and how much it would be. And then, you know, every single time you have an extra dollar to spare, you know, don't buy that coffee in the morning, put that money away. And that's the way you're going to get there. And in, in those regards, 2017 has taught me a lot as well because by saving and by really just just putting things away you know discarding things I didn't need and instead cooking and instead of, uh, of going out to buy something really just do it at home or you know not only did I get to be healthier I got to save a lot of money and I know that's important for most of us <laughs> um, I'm not privileged I don't know anybody who's privileged in the sense that, you know, they never have to think about money. We all do. And but but truly, truly, the things in life that matter can be bought by money. You know, there are experiences that money can get you there, can assist you, but not necessarily buy your happiness. Um, 
in that note, I hope you all have an amazing 2018 and let's kick it off with like a lot of happiness and positive thoughts and, and really hoping that 2019, you know, by the time we get there is it, we're already like different beings. We are already at a different point in our lives. And um, I love you all very much. I do. I really appreciate everybody who has been saying beautiful things about my videos. Um, I hope you guys keep watching, subscribing, sharing, because I feel like a lot of people need to watch contents like this so they can get boosted. Um, have a beautiful day, beautiful year. Enjoy.